Hello everybody, and welcome for another today's episode of multi voice a -ween. <laughs> Anyway, since you enjoyed uh, Count Dracula doing reviewing his uh, Transylvania twist, I decided to review another movie based on a really popular song. But first, a little history. A long time ago, there was a guy who goes by the name of Bobby Boris Pickett. Back in 1964, him and his band, who calls himself the Crip Kicker, Excuse me, did you say the Crip Keeper? No, I said the Crip Kicker, not Crip, Kip, Crip Keeper. Bobby Bandit and his band called the Crip Kicker. Sorry, Creepy. Oh, drat. Oh, well. Well, anyway, at least I can, uh, ghost this time. <laughs> See you on the next Tales from the Crip by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Oh, that Crip Keeper. Anyway, Bobby Porus Pickett and the Crip Kicker, the Crip Kickers, decided to make this hit song called The Monster Mash back in 1964. And as the movie got so popular, now, um, Bobby, now, uh, Bobby Boris Pickett did try other songs, but, um, out of all the songs he made and written and sung, the Monster Mash became the most pop, the most popular one of all, and that here started the old trend of having all the Universal monsters together for any comedy relief. And then after the movie, I mean after the song, I mean, back in uh, nineteen, back in 1995, they decided to make this movie, and this movie has Bobby. Boris Pickett in this, and it's none other than Monster Mash the Movie. Now, this movie was hilarious, and it has everything we, uh, it has everything that we, uh, hope for in a, uh, monster movie. Now, this one is starring... Bobby uh, Boris Pickett himself playing Dr. Frankenstein. And as you can see, that's him right there. And as you can see here, that's Igor. Igor played by John Kasser. You know. The guy who did the voice of he, I may not mention. Oh, come on! Tell everybody! John Cant... John Cancer... is actually the same guy who did the voice of me, the Crypt Keeper! <laughs> Why do I even bother? Anyway, back to the review, shall we? Now you have uh, two other characters who all of a sudden showed up to his humble abode. Scott, played by uh, Iron Bohan, Iron Bowen, and of course his girlfriend Mary. Huh. Candace Cameron Burrell. You know her. That's her right here. Some of you might know her as um, from Full House and Fuller House. Now, in case those of you are going to be asking me, am I going to be reviewing uh, Full House in the later series Fuller House? No. Sorry, but no. I mean, the only character I like is that one actor who makes 
pun jokes and impression of Popeye. Okay, 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 okay. Well, blow me down. I mean, I used to like the show back then, but as I grew older, it's just not that interesting anymore. And I used to like the Olsen twins when they were really young, but as they got older, so did my interests. And I have to admit, Michelle Olsen was a better actress than the Olsen twins. I'll tell you that. Anyway. Anyway, Scott and Mary dressed up as Romeo and Juliet. Oh, how lovely. Although Romeo and Juliet is my uh, least favorite Shakespeare story. I never like Romeo and Juliet. I like uh, Tame of the Shrew better. Anyway, back to the story. Scott's uh, truck uh, got shut down got broke down so he decided to walk up to dr frankenstein's castle asking to borrow to um use their phone and he was like of course and of course igor starts getting interested in mary and of course there's these three attractive ladies who are actually dancers now i recognize one of the dancers the asian one And it is Carrie Ann Inaba. Carrie Ann Inaba. And I recognize her. She was one of the fly girls on uh, Living Color. And um, I also play. I also saw her play the uh, Asian, the Japanese twins on Austin Powers Gold Member. She played. Uh, ooh, blank you. I just can't say it. I can't cuss in the show. I'm sorry. I mean, other reviewers can say it, but I can't. And now I now I hear that she's one of the judges on Dance with the Stars. Yeah, look her up. Anyway, while Frankenstein was tinkering on his uh, on his experiments, Dracula shows up. <laughs> that somebody called me? Hmm? No, Dracula, nobody didn't call you. I just mentioned the character's name. And besides, this Dracula is played by this one actor named Anthony Crevolo. So, sorry, Drac. And of course, on this story... Dracula is hitting on Mary and trying to make her his uh, new bride. And even also, he's getting a little bit uh, henpecked by his wife, Countess Dracula, played by uh, Sarah Douglas. Now, some of you may know Sarah Douglas. She was in Superman 2 as General Zod's uh, villainess, who helped Zod defeat Superman. And among other movies she done. So... Sorry, Dracula. Not you. That guy's an amateur. But I should calm down. Ah, that's better. But hey, at least he's henpecked by one bride. As for me, I have more than one bride's. Gosh, Dracula, how many uh, wives do you have? Hmm? More than I can count. Even most of them are from other countries. But let's just say those Arabs have a problem with me having more wives than they have. But. See ya. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think you better start counting, Dracula. Besides, you never know if some of your wives are going to rebel against you. Anyway, back to the story. Back to the story, shall we? Anyway, it turns out that uh, there, that there is a gypsy woman, and she has a son named Wolfie. 
played by Adam... Adam... Shankman. Shankman. Adam Shankman. And his mother is played by, uh... Mink Stahl. Now, some of you may know Mink Stahl. She appeared in a lot of John Water movies, which I have no interest of watching or reviewing. I mean, I, don't, I mean, the only John Water movie I've seen was uh, Hairspray, and that's about it. And anyway, Wolfie's mother wants Frankenstein to use his intellect to help cure her son Wolfie from that werewolf curse he had. Hmm. And also, Wolfie's mother was trying to hook up her son with Mary. But of course he was being straight up to her by telling her Wolfie tried to tell her that he's not like other guys. He's a werewolf. He's a werewolf. Okay? Deal with it. Well, on the other hand, Dr. Frankenstein met another guy. And his name is Hathaway. And Hathaway, he works for the mummy. And guess who the mummy is? Elvis Presley. Turns out that Elvis isn't completely dead. They mummified him. <laughs> oh, that's right. I just hope Elvis Rexley ain't here to hear this. He would have bite my head off if I told him that. But anyway, and now here's the plot. Dr. Frankenstein noticed that Igor likes Mary. So, and of course, Dr. Frankenstein wants his creation, his uh, Frankenstein monster here, to be a little bit more smarter. Oh yeah, and the actor who plays the Frankenstein monster here, he's played by the same actor who is in the American Gladiators. You know, the one with the long, golden, curly hair. I saw him on, um, that, uh, video tape came with the, uh, board game called Dragon Strike. He played the warrior. And was also in, uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation as Muntaro. You know, the half-man, half-horse-like monster. <laughs> anyway, the plan is... Dr. Frankenstein decided to switch the brain between, uh, between Scott and his creation. So, um, Scott's brain will be inside of his monster. And, of course, switch brain between Igor and Scott. So, Igor can become Scott and wed the girl. And that was the plan. But it turns out, Scott yelled, Scott, uh, who thought he was talking to Mary, but Hathaway listened. He said he's a virgin. And Hathaway needs a virgin for his mummy, so he's taking the boy. Hmm. And of course, Dracula, he was interested in Mary. And of course, uh, Countess Dracula, named Natasha, she was flirting with the boy. She couldn't keep his hands off him. Hmm. Imagine that. Well, every vampire has always been a flirt. And of course, one thing about this movie, there's a lot of uh, musical numbers in the movie. Like Dracula singing, I've got all infinity, immortality, all eternity blues. And of course, um, Igor and Frank, Dr. Frankenstein singing that um, they're stuck here. And of course, um, Wolfie's mother singing, singing the things a mother goes through. <laughs> and of course, the and of course the greatest classic, the Monster Mash song, with Dr. Frankenstein singing that song. You know, one of these days, I think I'm going to sing that song after this. Anyway, Wolfie finally got back to normal, so their plot went nowhere. Anyway, Dracula did bit Mary and almost became her bride, 
but Dr. Frankenstein had an idea. He decided to change the clock, making him think it's still night outside until the sunlight showed up. And of course, Igor wants the girl, saying, the girl's mine, mine, the dead gone girl is mine. Look who thinks he's Michael Jackson. And he also asked Dracula what's his favorite book. And he says, The Bridges of Madison County. And he don't know why. Hmm. Until his wife Natasha told him that it's daytime. So, he finally got back to his coffin. And he said, One day I'll be with the girls. All the beautiful, sexy, bibbly bubbly girls. I'll be thinking about you. And then they get back in their coffin. So now Mary snapped out of it. While on the other hand, Igor was sick and tired of being slapped in the head by uh, Dr. Frankenstein. So he tricked Dr. Frankenstein to put the device on, on his head while well, he has the device on his head. And then he flipped the switch and now Frankenstein is Igor and Igor is Frankenstein. And now Scott and Mary are finally free and they live happily ever after. While the Frankenstein monster still on his slab going like, Oh, I am surrounded by idiots. And that is the Monster Mash the movie. Now, it's not over yet. There's another Monster Mash movie they made. And unlike the live one, this one's uh, cartoon animated. This one is called Monster Mash. It's a graveyard smash. This time, Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman. And this one was made in the year... This one was made in 2000, so... It's kind of old. But anyway, in the movie, in this movie, they've been accused for being not scary. They've been more kid-friendly. And, and the courts say that they had to find a family that they can scare or else... Or else they're going to be ending up uh, entertaining kids on their birthday parties. Now that's a nightmare. And the only things that are scary is um, Freddy Spaghetti, who is like a, an icon character of, uh, of slasher killers, except he wears a, um, a strainer who looks like a hockey mask with gloves full of uh, silverwares, and his entire body is covered with uh, man-eaten noodles. And of course there is Chicky, who is a doll who keeps changing channels, putting people in other worlds. Wow, um, and also there is the alien eater, which is pretty obvious he's supposed to be based on aliens. I love the sequel better than the first one. And they have to scare the family, and they have a son who is used to the horror movie monsters but doesn't like the current ones, likes the classics, and he doesn't speak, all he does is whistle. Like you've been hearing the whistling going on out there. <laughs> this one was pretty good, but I prefer, I prefer the live action movie more, because this was his, this was um, Boris, I mean, Bobby Boris Pickett's last thing he did before he passed away. So, if any of you like this review, please leave a comment down below, hit like, and subscribe. And as for me, I think I'm going to end this review with a song. And this time I'm not recording anything for me to lip sync. I'm singing it. And what I'm singing is... I was walking in the lab late one night, and my eyes impelled an eerie sight. When my monster from my slab began to rise. Then suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. Monster mash was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. Catch on in the flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun! The guests included the Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking over digging the sound. 
Eagle on chain back by his bane hound. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with the Voco group, the Crip Kicker Five. They did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He catch on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax voicely treen. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, What ever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the monster mash. The monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. You can mash. They catch on in the flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax the part of the band, and my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, the smash was meant true. When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent you. And you can monster mash. Monster mash. Do my graveyard smash. You can mash. You catch on in the flash. You did the mash. And you can monster mash. Oh, that's good! Yeah! Yes, Igor, you impetuous young boy! Oh, that's good! Mm, oh, yeah! So, Master, tell me to tell you, if you like this uh, music and this review, please review, please leave a comment down below, hit like and subscribe! As for me, I'm back in my chains. That's good. Yeah.